Stephen, uh, we've seen what, from what we've seen of you so far in the, the first team, it looks like you just love playing football for this club at the moment. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I think that's a perfect word putting it. I just sort of try and make the most of every day, and you know, just enjoy every opportunity that I get, and yeah, just enjoy putting the shirt on and going out and playing, you know, and taking every opportunity as it comes, and just yeah, just playing with a smile on my face. And we've seen you pop up pretty much everywhere. I know when we spoke after the Swindon game, you said you're happy to play anywhere, but you know, we popped up on that left-hand side on, on Tuesday night as well. Yeah, um, something a bit different to what I've been sort of doing here, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy, to, happy to play wherever. You know, I, know, I know the gaffer's concepts and, and, and the patterns that he wants to play, and yeah, I feel like I can sort of fit in wherever and yeah, enjoy, enjoy playing wherever I am on the pitch. And it you, you feels like you've hit the ground running, obviously, after those, those little injury problems that you had at the start. Um, you're now absolutely in the guts of a promotion battle. Yeah, um, like it, it's hard coming in sort of with an injury and then trying to get back up to speed and you always pick up little niggles. But So yeah, I've struggled with a, a couple of little niggles, but it's feeling all right. Uh, obviously played 92 and I feel okay. And yeah, like you said, it's, it's uh, going to be a... Entertain the end of the season and yeah, hopefully we, we can get the job done. Is it a pressure cooker environment being in that promotion fight? Because you know, if you're I suppose in in the middle of the table with a handful of games to go where there's potentially less pressure. But when you're when you're at that sharp end and there's that goal that's dangling right there, it, it must be tough sometimes. Yeah, I think so, but I think you've just got to enjoy it. Like, you know, you could say it's pressure and you could say, Oh, it's stressful but so like, getting to football for me, for, yeah, it? like it's like we're, we're all living a dream. Like at the end of the day, this is what, like as a squad, this is what we all wanted to do as kids. You know, we wanted to be in promotion battles. We wanted to play in big pressure games. And yeah, I think when it, when there is a lot on the line, it just makes it that more enjoyable when when you do get the job done. Um, is it tougher coming in during a January window than it is potentially in the summer? Um, possibly. Yeah. I mean, I think in the summer there's probably a more new lads. So you sort of, I don't know whether the whole squad is then integrated. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. I mean. Uh, it's the first time I've gone into a squad in, in, in January. Uh, to be fair, the lads have been, been brilliant with me and yeah, I found it really easy to settle in. But yeah, maybe I haven't really, haven't really thought about it. I mean, they do very much feel like a, um, a, an open group that, that welcomes yeah. everyone in with open arms. Yeah, it's, um, the squad's one of a kind, I'd say. Um, <laughs> but no, nah, it's good. I'm really enjoying it. And, and yeah. Um, crew then on, on Saturday, a team that, you know, leapfrogged you on, on Tuesday night. But another massive six pointer isn't it and they're going to be I suppose they're all going to be like that towards the end of the season yeah I think every game's going to be a six pointer um, obviously you get to the, it happens every year you get to this stage of the season and you start thinking oh if only we could have picked up three points there and there but look, we've just got to, as cliche as it sounds we've just got to take every, every game as it comes and and yeah we know that if we go out there control everything we can control and sort of and give everything then, then it should be more than enough to, to get the three points and a team that likes to get the ball down play football we've seen Don's probably have better better times against those sorts of teams than ones that like to sit back and, and, and block you out. Yeah, maybe. Um, like Tuesday night was probably the prime example of that. I think if a team goes 1-0 up against us, they're very happy to just sit off and just play a low block. And I think with us being so sort of possession, I wouldn't say we're a possession-based team, but you know we enjoy a lot of the ball and I think teams can be happy just letting us have the ball and we maybe need to look into ways of breaking teams down when it's a low block because I think some teams will probably just come here and even play for a nil-nil um, so yeah when I think when teams probably just get after us and try and play a little bit it maybe plays into our hands and we can sort of show our abilities you know rather than just sort of moving it side to side and finding it difficult but yeah I mean every game's a challenge and, and we'll go into Saturday with full confidence and, and see what we can do. Um, I, I, there's obviously an awful lot of uh, attacking-minded players in the, in the squad and certainly in the, the starting eleven. Um, when there was only one shot on target, though, on, on Tuesday night, do you feel sometimes it's just there should be a little bit more confidence than, and, and, and having a go from maybe a little bit further out than where yeah, you are? Yeah, maybe. Um, look, we on Tuesday night we like we give everything and it's like we go into every game with a game plan and if it doesn't come off yeah we, we look back and think well how could how could we have changed it and yeah when you look at the stats one shot on target you know like a lot of averages suggest you're not going to score so maybe we do need to look at different ways of breaking teams down and getting shots off but yeah like I said um, everyone everyone's on the same page everyone's buying into, into what we want to do and if we can sort of execute that properly from now to the end of the season then yeah I think, I think we'll be alright and Stadium MK I mean you, you the Teams a second best home record in the division. You know, people must worry when they come here. Yeah, I think I think the pitch sort of the pitch size and you know, it's a big pitch. It's sort of it's nice we can get the ball down and play. So it probably plays in our hands. Um, 
so yeah, I think teams probably feel pressure coming here because they know we're going to dom dominate the game. And then I think for us, it's just how can we put that in a sort of how can we play our way away from home as well? Because um, yeah, we probably dominate games more at home, but yeah, like I said, every game's a battle, and we've just got to do everything we can to, to make sure we get three points.